Hi everyone. Today we will be looking at how to configure that you have correctly installed the TinyOS and then we will install a simple blink application on a TeleSP. Okay. We are assuming that we have installed the TinyOS on SigWin or yeah, using Windows. First of all, run the SigWin. Okay. To view it, I'm just changing few things so that we can view these things quickly. Okay, I just increased the font size so that we can look at it. Okay, I assume that it is visible. To check you have correctly installed the tiny OS or not we have a command tos t o s c h e c k check e n v environment we run the command it will be looking at different things all the libraries all the things it need all the rpms it need and then it will ve after verifying if it completed without error it is okay but Nowadays there is few warnings like Java they it need 1.4 and 1.5 but I have installed 1.6 so it doesn't matter but either it is good that you install the latest version of Java as it is required okay so don't worry about it clear is the command to clear up the screen why it is not okay clear is the command then why it has not saved it I don't know but I know it's okay okay now thoughts check env is 10 now to check which modes are connected to your system the command is mode list that it shows how many modes are connected no device found there are no modes connected because I haven't connected the mode okay now to look in which directory there are simple application for that you need to open CD it is located in opt tiny OS apps okay apps is the folder okay and uh, we will be running blink application but I show you there are different applications you can see here be playing base stations and other things you can use it and inshallah in coming videos we will be looking into it but uh, today we will be running or installing blink okay before installing blink let to check whether you have install uh, correctly configure the environment variables or not and other things install correctly the tiny OS or not we will be running command make whichever platform you have like I have platform telos I will run make telos done I think it is not visible okay whichever platform you have you have to run that command okay then next command is just increase a bit more font size I think to assume that we can see things well okay like make my z can be one command you run it it will be run and successfully but uh, remember we haven't connected anything to check in a platform named iMode we have to write make Intel mode 2 okay this is done I just clear the things because to make things visible okay now how to install an application we just connect the Talos P with a system and verify whether you have correctly uh, connected and on which COM port it is connected 
for that we have to run mod list remember no device was came now here a device should come like com7 there is one device on com7 one device is connected okay how to install an application blink to telos p make telos p install here telos p can be replaced with mica seed can be replaced with iris can be replaced with intel mode 2 just the command is same make telos p install make mica seed install and these sort of things i will run make my telos p install and see hopefully it will be done successfully writing toss image uh, and once this program is completed you will be looking your lights are blinking red at 2 hertz uh, yellow at 4 hertz and blue one at 8 hertz okay we finish this tutorial here and uh, in next coming lectures we will be looking into further more about tiny os thanks for looking into it